Hey guys, we're back from Mexico where we went with our partners iTravel2000 and we went on some fabulous excursions and we want to bring you the lowdown. So here we go. Our first excursion, are you ready? The Cantun Chi Eco Park. What is that? That's cave diving. We took six children under the age of six into the caves in the dark with bats but when you got down there there was these beautiful pools of water turquoise with just little holes of light shining through was it lights or was it actual lights there they were lights but that <laughs> It was amazing. It was beautiful. The kids were freaking. But what we loved the most about it was pushing our kids to do something that was totally out of their comfort zone. Another great thing is that each group gets their own tour guide. And our tour guide was so patient with the children. If you're going to take the kids out of school, why not make it educational? This tour guide gave us so much information about the history of the Mayan and the cenotes and all the ruins that were on that property. And we also happened to go above and walk through nature and then there was all these beautiful above ground pools that were the clearest water you've ever seen with the most lush vegetation and it was so quiet. We loved the tiny tips they gave us throughout the whole excursion. We really, really, really learned so much from there and we really enjoyed it. Second excursion. Natalie and I took our big girls down to Playa del Carmen where we walked Fifth Avenue, we went shopping, there was all these cute open air markets and also an open air mall where they had like Victoria's Secrets, Forever 21, and then also the more quaint little boutique shops. And that's where our girls got lots of little souvenirs for their brothers, for themselves, and things to take back to school to talk about their trip. We also got a Starbucks, which is kind of front and center, which was kind of fun. It was something to be like, wow, a Starbucks. And we happened to just walk down all the winding roads. It's a bustling place, but it's a ton of fun. So after we went shopping, we went to the cool beach, which was a restaurant, pools, and beach, where you pay to stay for the day and enjoy yourself. So the kids got to go in the ocean, which was as warm as a bathtub. They could also swim in a pool that had umbrellas and little beds. And then right beside, there was a restaurant that had some delicious food where we could sit, enjoy a drink, and watch the kids swim. Now, this is a little bit more of a mature club with the disco beats happening and the sun chairs lined up one after the other after the other. It isn't our number one choice to take our kids, but it would be a great place to go on a double date. Our third excursion was exciting and the kids couldn't wait to arrive. We went to the Dolphin Discovery, where instead of going into a pool with dolphins, we went and swam with the manatees. The pool sanctuary is actually part of the ocean and where all the babies and the manatees live. They've rescued them and they've rehabilitated them and they're really thriving in this environment. We love that aspect of it. They also happen to have all these veggies that you feed them. Our kids loved it. There was literally lettuce hanging everywhere. <laughs> The manatees happen to also be herbivores, strictly vegetarians, so our kids really learned a lot. They got to go down, actually interact with them. The manatees are super friendly. They love to wave at you. Our kids actually was a highlight for them. And you know what? The kids even got to feed them like apples and pears from their hand. They don't have teeth, so they can't bite. The largest one was 1,800 pounds, and he was so gentle. He also rolled over, clapped his hands, oh, and waved. so cute. My daughter was all about it. She was hugging and kissing it, and she didn't want to get out. It was a really cool experience for them. So if you're an animal lover, mammal lover, manatee lover, this one's for you. Excursions aren't for every family, but we really do think that you should check them out, consider taking them, because it really gives you a different experience and culture when you visit a country. Mexico in particular has a super deep, rich history, and there's so much you can learn. Why not expose your kids to all of these things that they might not learn? We love taking them. It was definitely a highlight of their trip and something they'll always remember. Experiences bring the family together. Get out of your comfort zone. Traveling's all about that and have fun. For more tips, tricks, videos, all of our information, visit www.itravel2000.com backslash family tips. Happy travels.